nice keys on the beat. Well, I'd like to shift gears here, but I want to shift gears to this banning situation that is going on. Quick going back to right. it. <laughs> You've been banned on Facebook and we've mentioned it a few times. So I think we might as well just clear the air on what is happening with that right now as well. You have been banned on Facebook for doing nothing wrong, apparently violating their community guidelines. But I'm finding it very difficult to understand what sort of community guidelines you violated because I don't think you're someone who is going to rip up on Facebook and all of a sudden you are maybe there are no no words in any of my videos in any of my posts there's no foul language i always make sure that because as a person i try not to do that right i know that there are enough words in the dictionary that i don't have to use four letter words but i have no problem with people you know expressing themselves sure but I, I think it had to do with my documentary. I think you've seen it, Demystifying the African Origin of Civilization, Myth or Reality, which is an O2 Sheikh Antajab's book. And sometimes the truth is hard to face. And I know that in that video, there were a lot of comments, negative, negative. comments. People were like, oh, why is it all of a sudden Africans wants to steal everything and blah, blah, blah. You know, when you've been fed lies, one day the truth can be poison to you so ignorance ignorance is something that there's nothing we can do about these days Uh anymore in the day and age of maximum information you can go grab the information anywhere just silence the internet but there's still ignorant people this is why we have to be careful with ai because they can program ai to make it similar to black never existed yeah i know there's a lot of fears about ai but i'm actually not afraid at all of that thing right now because i actually think that it's it's going to backfire in their face spectacularly but there seems to be a theme with this you voiced your opinion in a country where free speech is the number one i mean it's literally the heading of their whole existence america baby right? it's um, america we have been banned on instagram yep. for pointing out some Insane things that were happening in Nigeria. Okay. We also know uh, Dr. Arikana, right? Fired all the way. <laughs> United Nations. By the United Nations. So this is not United something United new. African Union. African, African Union. Union, right? Okay. So this is not something that is new, but we see that the people that are putting these blockers, removing us and our opinions from the internet, is the same group of people. How do you see this? What are your thoughts on it? And obviously, I know earlier you mentioned we need to develop our own stuff, but I'll just pass it on to you. Yeah. Just talk to us about that. Break it down for us. <laughs> I think it just goes to show that as much as people want to say that Black Lives Matter and like, you know, during the age of George Floyd, when there was literally a racial reckoning in the United States, we had all these companies that came out and said, oh, Black Lives Matter and we, were, we support and we're against anti-black racism but then when push comes to shove three years later they're all backing down right like those initiatives the money that they gave out a lot of them are pulling it back right because it was all following a trend following a quote-unquote what seemed to be a movement at the time because you don't want to be in some quick cash maybe you Mm -hmm. say get more customers exactly And so it just seems like if you mess up the person who's giving you the bag, Mm -hmm. you're going to get some repercussions in terms of those companies, right? In terms of, for example, I don't want to speak about the ambassador's um, removal because I'm not sure about the details about what went on. It's just the fact that it happened. Yes. What she was doing. So what she was saying. Yeah. Right. And a lot of our initiatives were disbanded as well because of all of that. But I just know that it gave me sort of a reality check that all of these platforms that we're using, we're only borrowing them, right? Yeah. They're not ours. We're only bartering them for the amount of time that they want to allow us to use it. Mm-hmm. Right. And this is where blockchain technology comes in because Bitcoin is decentralized and we're able to now reach a realm where we can create our own platforms. We can create our own spaces where we can have our narratives and not be pushed out. But the only thing with that is that the majority of the people are in those main spaces. They're in the metas, which is previously mm-hmm. called Facebook, Instagram, the, the X, the YouTubes, right? So 
it's sort of like the unity that I talked about. If we all stand up and say, all of a sudden, we're all removing ourselves from their platforms, they are going to have a big wake up call, right? And we all say, oh, we're going now to this platform, which is ours. If you want our money, follow us there. So it's like, we need to get there though, right? And we need to figure out how to do that. And I'm actually working on a little project. Uh, stay tuned about that. But yes, getting the inside scoop. Come on, let's go. <laughs> working on a little project on yes. trying to see yeah. how we can all be on a platform where we give our own reviews, where we were able to speak truth without being censored as well. Can you come back to our show when that when on time to release? We want to be the first to release Absolutely. it. Please. Definitely. <laughs> I would like for you to uh, definitely come back and, and give some more details about yeah. that. Well, let's shift gears here as we are approaching the end. We've, listen, we could be going on forever. Yep. And please, I would also like to extend an invite for you to come back so we can carry on these conversations even further. Yep. We are also extending the invite to your colleagues who are of the same mindset and interested in sharing some of the ideas to join us on the show anytime. Mm -hmm. we'll be time to make it happen because very much like you were saying there with what is happening with these platforms and the project which you're working on i think part of that mission is also just making sure that no matter what happens our voices are out there keep planting them okay? seeds i don't care if youtube is going to ban us we're going to keep pushing to the day that they remove us and, and i was gonna say Go in the meantime even for you guys you may not own those things but you own your platform right you own your podcast okay. another thing that you can own is emails right you need to make sure that you get those emails because even if god forbid you're really banned from all of those platforms and you have your email list when you're ready to do something else when you're ready to move you have those people who will move with you right because you need their contact information that's the way that you can contact them directly so always got to make sure to cover your bases ladies and gentlemen if you don't know me by the way that is a strong marketing tip which you just got here free <laughs> of charge okay amazing i agree with you amazing. there 100 percent right? on the base.